So if everyone in a state wants something, go ahead and have it. So if everyone in Alabama wanted slavery back, you'd be okay with that? Sure. If everyone... I don't even got to know the whole conversation. There's no way she said this without trying to get some attention. There's no way she genuinely could believe this. There's no way she could really say this. No, no, bro. No. It's so heartbreaking and mind disturbing that in 2024, we are still hearing rhetoric that echoes one of the darkest periods in American history. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My good name is Gracie D. I hope you guys are doing well. So on our today's episode, we are diving into this shocking um, statement that was made by a Republican woman who claims that a state should have the right to pass any law that its people want, even if that means reinstating back slavery. Well, she was on a podcast and she was uh, talking or responding to this guy called Dean and they were having a, um, a conversation or a debate on abortion and you all know how the, the rules or the laws of abortion are like in states like Alabama. So let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section and people have actually reacted on her on what she said some people and say as some people even went on ahead and saying that was whatever she said about resisting back slavery was taken out of context but if you listen to the whole statement it's clearly that she meant what she said let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section let's watch these videos together and then we'll come back to it hey y'all seen the video of the lady on tiktok that said if states want to bring slavery back that they should no here it is so if everyone in the state wants something, go ahead and have it. So if everyone in Alabama wanted slavery back, you'd be okay with that? Sure. If everyone in the state wants it, go ahead. What do I give a All right. Well, let's go next topic. I just, I'm getting nervous. Did you know black women were not able to file great charges against white men until 1861? Did you also know that the rape of a black woman by any man was considered legal in some of the states until 1950s around there that's not even too long ago and when rape itself officially became illegal it was still not a crime to rape a black woman in some states so you're telling me that if everyone in whatever state wants that back you're telling me that they should have that back that's what i'm understanding from whatever it is that you just said Let's even go a little further. Did you know that black people weren't allowed to attend desegregated schools until 1954? Let me clarify. 1954 is when the law was passed, but schools still remained segregated until, what, 1968? Which isn't even that long ago. That's just like 56 years ago. I'm sure you're familiar with all the rest of the issues, but what you have to understand is that if this is still a fresh issue for us, right? Some of our parents have gone through this period, right? And it wasn't pretty. And some of us still deal with that today, right? So for you to say that if states want to bring slavery back, that they should is... I don't even have the words completely taken out of context that video was cut that's not what she said okay first of all there is no context that justifies anyone saying that unless you're just stupid ignorant or flat-out racist or all of the above you know second that is what she said it's not taken out of context he asked or they were talking about abortion then she said I'd rather it I'd rather it be state by state and then he asked why. And she said, if enough people in the States want that particular thing, they should have it. And then he said, so if people want slavery back in Alabama, would you be okay with it? And she said, sure. It's, it's not taken out of context. Watch it again. Sending the right to get abortion back to the state leading like- I think it should be state by state. Victims of sexual abuse. Okay, why? That's fine. I think if everyone wants, if everyone in a state wants something, go ahead and have it. So if everyone in Alabama wanted slavery back, you'd be okay with that? Sure. If everyone in the state wants it, go ahead. What do I give a All right. Well, let's go next topic. I just, oh, I'm getting nervous. I, I just want to clarify. If you still don't think that's what she said, then what did she say? 
it's crazy how these Republicans will admit while they're thinking, they'll admit it. Women and men together. And for that stupid like even worse because she's like signing off on a death warrant and on giving her rights away freely which I still cannot fucking register with Republican women but I'm digressing that's like an entirely different fucking topic but the fact that they are willing to let slavery slide they don't care this leave it to the states bullshit has always been about bringing back the confederacy and bringing back racism and segregation laws. There's a lot of them that think like this. A lot of them think like this. Trust me when I tell you this. They just won't say it to their face. But amongst them, in quiet rooms that you are not present because you're not allowed to share those spaces with them, I promise you a lot of them think like this. All the more fucking reason to vote blue in November. Good thing I'm Wendy. There's no way, there's no way I don't even gotta know the whole conversation. She talking about if everybody in Alabama, I live in Alabama. If everybody in Alabama wanted, there's no way she said this without trying to get some attention. There's no way she genuinely could believe this. There's no way she could really say this. No, no, bro. No, bro. That's actually crazy. She literally said that because he backed her in a corner and she could not just, she couldn't be wrong. She literally just could not her 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 being just could not be wrong. So she said, let me let me say yes, even though it's ignorant, but I'll be able to stand on my point and not be wrong. I need to track this. I need to track this. Wow. People aren't even hiding it anymore. They're not even at least they, people used to at least hide it. They're not even hiding it anymore. Everyone in We all know that clip and what she goes on to say. And now, um, she hasn't said anything in days after that <laughs> about slavery. But a less seen thing here is something I would like to point out. She says, if everybody in the state wants it, then let them have it. Anytime abortion has been put on the ballot in even the reddest of red states, it's been defeated. And the right for women's choice is always won. Every time, in every state, that abortion has come up against women's right to choose, women's right to choose has won. Often by around 60% of the vote. Which means the majority don't want it. And yet, these small governments... These governments of the people, by the people, for the people, these don't tread on me governments are trying to find ways to circumvent those votes and put what they want uh, on, consti on state constitutions and into state law, regardless of what the people have said. Don't tread on me, right? Small government, right? Should be up to the states. Well, seems like the states have spoken and the government's ignoring them anyways. Oh, to be young and blonde and white and live in a state like California where you know you can say stupid shit like that and, and it's not going to mean anything. Because that right is going to be there for you, even if you think that if the whole state wants to take it away, they should be able to take it away. Imagine, you know, just having that, that privilege, that luxury of being able to say stupid things, stupid things with your full voice as a young woman, knowing it's never going to have any impact on you. It's never, right? Or will it? Can you imagine? I, I'm 60. I know, looking back at my life, the things that can happen to you over the, the span of your lifetime. This kid, and she's a kid, I don't care. She's a child, in my view. She's a child because she's so immature. And she's so naive. And she says things so confidently. Okay, as if it's never going to impact her. 
just wait for what life has in store for you, Emily. Just just be careful what you say so confidently out loud. Sometimes people that don't know what they're talking about shouldn't speak. I'm not going to be too hard. I am. I'm going to rip them a new one. Because both the guy and the girl in this video uh, are probably speaking to a lot of people at once and they're just uh, making their brains mushy as much as theirs are. So let's talk about two of the things that they talked about. Number one, the girl when she says uh, that reproductive rights for women, that should go back to the state. And if everybody in the state votes for it, then she's fine with it. Um, and the guy correctly points out that's called a confederacy. And that was, you know, there was a whole war about that and they lost because if you allow states to decide issues like reproductive rights for women, then you will have states like Alabama and Texas that have one set of rules and then other states that have other sets of rules. So in the states where women may feel and are oppressed by those rules and denied access to benefits that people in other states have, so they would have to leave that state, which is a point of privilege to be able to travel somewhere for your health care. But the people that are stuck there don't get the same rights and benefits as people in other states. That's called a confederacy. That's not what we are. And uh, also, that allows the second thing that I take issue with is the rule of the majority cannot deny the rights to the minority. We seem to be in this world of political states that it is win-lose me, you, uh, left and right, and that is not how our system of government really works. In the state of Alabama, which we get the heat all the time, that they say they get what they should deserve because they vote uh, in, in for the Republicans all the time, right? However, if you look at the vote turnout, I've said this many times, it's 60-40, uh, you know, 58-42, uh, in the vote totals. So when you say, okay, if 58% of the people vote to deny access to women's reproductive health services in the state of Alabama, then that 42% of people are SOL, and you're fine with that. You're fine with oppressing the rights of those people because the 58% are jackasses that say, I don't care what you want to do. We're going to do it my way. If you don't like it, move. And then what you're left with are the only the privileged people can afford to leave or move or uproot their lives. And then you get the people that are stuck here, which need help the most. And then they are the ones that suffer the most. So when you say things, I'd like you to think about them. This guy did a fair job of calling her out with her idiocy, but he didn't do it strong enough. Listen, if you do not want to get an abortion, don't get one. But you don't have the right to force every other woman in this country to bend to your will. I don't care what your beliefs are. That's called freedom freedom of personal choice, freedom is what we stand on, not suppressing freedom of others because of our personal beliefs. It saddens me that these two young people, which seem to be very articulate and probably pretty smart, but they live out there in that privileged world of Los Angeles that says, well, if the people in Alabama, F them, right? And that is a sad thing to be so young and so ill-informed and so dumb but there you go it's rampant isn't it hope i've given you a little food for thought and helped educate you on how a representative democracy works in this world and always remember just because you are in the majority and had the most votes does not mean that you get to oppress other people's personal freedoms and rights because of your iron fist of will good luck everybody remember to vote this is a prime example. Boat. Yeah, guys, I just saw that clip and it reminded me of another clip that I saw. 
where this minister said, it's time for us to put back imperial heart and say we are going to govern those countries, which by he meant countries in the African continent. And they say if the governments that they have in Africa cannot govern their countries, then they can take over. He meant they can recognize Africa. And this lady goes on ahead and now she's saying that if a state wants, if the people of certain state want certain rules passed, they have the right to pass those laws as long as its people want. So this does not even concern her if it's about 50, uh, 50, 50 or 52, 48 or 50, uh, 40, 60. Because what about those people that didn't vote yes to this certain law that these people want? Because there's no way that black people are going to vote for slavery to be back. And I believe in a state like she gave an example with, which is Alabama, there are black people who live there. And why would even black people want to vote back slavery after all that it has cost them? Till today, it's still affecting them. There's a systematic racism. There's so much that's happening in the states that it is because it's the result of racism. There is racial profiling, like we saw on a previous a couple of previous videos that I've uploaded where this young man was being harassed walking in his neighborhood just because he's a uh, melanated American. So when she comes on ahead and on in on such a big platform and says this, this shows actually she, is, she does not even respect the constitution because we all know the amendments uh, 13 and 15 whereby the 13 where they abolished slavery and they on the 15th where the american black people have the right to vote so i feel like if you say a, of a certain state wants its law passed that it's okay with people the majority uh you know the state passing that law because the majority want that law so it shows that you don't care about the minority people and you know people the people who are saying are uh, these a uh, certain clip was taken out of context because uh, she didn't mean what she said and then it reminded me of this guy that i've said they sh they were saying they should recolonize africa again this shows that as the first uh, the one of the guy who was saying that i think he's mexican that was saying that these are conversations that they have uh behind closed doors because there is no way someone is gonna sit just by themselves and and they'll be thinking of something like this, like recolonizing Africa, like reinstating slavery. And they were just thinking by themselves and didn't have a conversation with someone and they are okay to say it out loud. No, these are conversations that are had out there. And there is this another clip I saw, but this lady, uh, she deleted the clip, so I tried to find it, but I couldn't. Whereby this certain student, I read the name of the school, I don't remember very well. Uh, she was just in class sitting, whereby, and these are teenagers. She just picked the, um, the girl that she was sitting next to was a pumped colored girl, and this was a black girl. And the, uh, the, the pumped colored girl, her tablet was her ipad was buzzing buzzing with messages and she was curious to check what's happening and when she checked it was a group that was titled cotton pickers and she was very angry and she confronted this girl and i don't know how the case ended that was like about last month so that's why i'm saying these are conversations that are had. They just don't sit and come talk about these conversations out loud without them having other people that they're discussing this conversation with that makes them feel so much as uh, very comfortable for them to come and discuss them in the in the public eye, uh, for them to come and discuss them on such big platforms. It's okay. Everyone has, you know, this all this is being be brought being brought because of politics and all the politics debates that's going on in the states. It's okay for someone to vote for a candidate of their own choice or will. You should not vote. You should not be forcing someone to vote this specific guy because they're like this, or you should not vote for this because they're like this. It's okay, but I don't understand why with the political uh different political parties that have different supporters always attacking one another because of 
your own choice or because you're willing to go with this party because of your own reasons or this party because of your own specific reasons yeah i watched this video and i was thinking about it and i've listened to people and i've read some of the comments and you know even that man was waiting that she was gonna come uh and say something i saw someone saying that the main video has already been deleted but luckily i had this clips already and also for people that have uh, stitched the videos on tiktok so some of the videos are still there and uh, the other part is if you can go you can still find this video on tiktok and also on twitter if you can get a chance to watch the whole clip you even hear the guy that was hosting this podcast was like time out no we cannot let's go up to the next let's go right ahead because this conversation to him was very uncomfortable and you know what's wrong is that when a conversation is very uncomfortable even if that was my platform i would have called out that guy for saying that if i'm the host and it's making me uncomfortable i should not be like let's go on no this is real life we are living real life guys this is not like some sort of pranks on social media pranks or something of the sort because you don't know how many people who have the same mentality as her that are watching this video and that watched that video and they are like if she can say that on such a big platform that means we are not doing anything wrong because you know there are so many others that think like her you know and it's also funny that most of the people that are talking these or most of the side that she supports they want to blame all these on one on their political leader which i think this is someone's decision because in as much as someone is telling you or trying to show you that these people don't deserve to be here don't deserve to get what they get you have your own mind to think for yourself. You cannot tell me that all these people that we are seeing misbehaving and doing bad things, it's because of their political leader. No, we cannot. It's because we don't want to hold people accountable. And it's high time for people to start holding people accountable for their behaviors without trying to blame it on another person, you know? yeah guys uh, this is what i was just thinking and actually made me feel sad because even the last when i saw that clip when it reminded me of this prime minister who said that they should recolonize, recolonize africa knowing that till today colonizations uh, colonization did not leave africa we are still being led we are still being we are still suffering from colonization till today it's not the result of colonization, but colonization is still happening in Africa. If you look at some of the countries that are suffering here in Africa, it's because of colonization that's still taking place till today. Look at our leadership, look at our politicians. You know, we don't, we are not ruled by our people, but we all know who do rule our continent and our countries. And that's what i had for you today guys i've been trying to think about this and it's a bit crazy uh let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section and until the next episode thank you so much for watching up to this part if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel kindly consider subscribing and bye